they couldn't have made it to the scene, it's, it's highly unlikely I would be here now. I just thought I was going to die. I, I knew it was bad. Ethan had a fancy dress day at school and it was real life heroes. And then I had to head off for a meeting. I left straight after dropping them off to school and um, was driving down the M3 um, on my way to um, Berkshire area. And it was really heavy, really, really heavy rain, uh, windy. Um, and I was in the first lane and I um, went into the uh, middle lane. And as I did, I saw a big puddle. Um, but I knew straight away, as soon as I saw it, that I was in trouble. I knew it was really deep and I could see it was uh, gonna cause a problem. So I hit into it and it kind of went up like that, aquaplaned. Um, and it just started to spin out of control. And with that, I put this arm up on the roof to hold myself in. Um, and it just kept flipping over and over um, until eventually I was uh, knocked unconscious. When I first came round and everyone was asking me what goes through your mind, I didn't remember anything. But as the months have gone on, I remember everything. I just kept saying, please stop, please stop. Because in front of me I could see um, a, like a, a concrete bridge. And I was thinking either I'm going to hit somebody or I'm going to hit that. My car's going to blow up. I mean, everything that could possibly go through your mind. I just thought, what's my son going to do? You know, he's not got his dad. What's he going to do? And I looked over. I couldn't turn my head. I could only move my eyes. And I saw just glass everywhere and um, all over the front dashboard and the steering wheel. It, it was just covered in, in blood. Um, and as I turned my eyes down towards my arm, um, I saw that I had uh, really bad bleeding and like a, you could see that the arm was badly damaged. As the ambulance was arriving to the scene, they had to pass me in order to get back to where I was. And they said as soon as they passed the scene, they, they knew it was, uh, was going to be serious. I had uh, breaks to each side of my neck, three breaks. Um, the part of your neck that makes it move from left to right um, is what I broke on, on either side and I broke the uh, top of my spine, four bones to the top of my spine um, and I also had my right arm amputated. I knew the weather was a bit bad. I was thinking about her, I was thinking what was going to happen. Then Karen told me I was still in the puddle and she overturned and I flipped six times. I knew she was going in the ambulance because my nan told me the next day and um, I knew she lost her arm. Ethan coped really well. He made a recording for me on the phone and they played it to me every day in hospital. Um, he just said, uh, Mummy, it's Ethan and I'm okay and I need you to be strong and wake up and do what the doctors say and I love you and and then one of the nurses said that when she was playing it to me um, tears came down my face. I felt happy I had my mum back and I had no jokes with her and um, it was fine. She was all right and I, that's what made me happy. Coming out of hospital for me was the best thing and it's what I wanted um, and I begged doctors and surgeons to let me go. But getting home um, and it hits you, reality hits you that my life is so different now um, and that's tough, that's a real eye opener. I want to get back to work um, but I know I've got a few more operations to go so I've got to concentrate on them first. Um, I am really keen to get back to work because I used to be so active on the go all the time. I didn't know too much about the air ambulance before, heard of them. Um, shame to say that they weren't one of my charities that I supported. I didn't even realise that it did run solely on donations, I just assumed it was an emergency service. 
they're unbelievable. I mean, it's nice, caring isn't the word. And there isn't a way to thank people like that. And they say, it's my job. But to us, to anyone that's, that's had to use them, it's much more than that because to Ethan, it's his mum. It's, it's having a parent for the rest of his life. And, and for me, it's, it's being able to watch my son grow up. So every day they get up and go into work, it's, it's a job. Um, but it's much more than that.